Hi, this is Terry, and today I thought I'd show you um, how to use the Buffer app. It really helps me with time management and sharing content through Twitter. It's very easy to use, so let's go through the steps. The first thing you're going to do is sign up, uh, go to bufferapp.com, and you're going to see that what you're able to do, you can go to any website and share content within Twitter. Um, there's analytics. So it's a great little application for sharing content. So go ahead and sign up. I'm going to sign in because I already have an account. Okay, after I sign in, a Buffer takes me to the dashboard. When you first sign up, you will link your Twitter account to Buffer. So you can go through those steps and then you'll come to your dashboard. I have the paid version of Buffer, but for a long time I used the free version, which was perfectly fine. You can put in, I think it's up to 10 uh, tweets per day, uh, 10 links per day into your buffer. And if you have one Twitter account, that's certainly fine to use. You don't need to upgrade to the paid version. Um, but I do have two Twitter accounts, my personal and my business. You can see that I've already got some tweets lined up in my buffer for both accounts, and they're going to go out later today at predetermined times. Um, you can go up to the settings and you'll notice under schedule and settings that buffer puts in predetermined times for your tweets to go out you can make changes to this I would suggest in the beginning go ahead and leave the times in there and then as you go on you know using the application if there's any changes you want to make simply come in and change them if you go to the goodies tab you'll see that you can put the buffer application on your browsers. Um, I use Chrome so I've got it up here in my um, browser section. And you'll see that if you have Google Reader you can put it there. You can put the bookmarklet. Um, use that on any website that you are looking at on the internet. If we go back to Dashboard, there's also a section, um, Analytics, that you can go in and take a look at what types of tweets got shared the most, how many retweets, how many uh, clicks on the links you had. So it's great that the analytics are built right into Buffer. It's very easy to use. Okay, so let's take a look at our Twitter account and how you would use the Buffer application. Okay, once you have linked your Twitter account to Buffer, you'll notice that when you come into your Twitter account and you hover over any tweet, you're going to see the Buffer icon. It's going to be available to you for any tweet. So what you're going to do is um, find any tweets that you think your audience would be interested in, and you're going to upload them into the Buffer, and then they're going to be sent out at those predetermined times. So that way, you can um, take time first thing in the morning or at some point in the day, upload it, as many tweets as you can into your buffer, and then they will get sent out during the day. You don't have to sit on your Twitter account live. Um, you can use Buffer to help you manage your time better. You do still want to be on your Twitter account at certain points of the day, for live interaction, you don't want to totally automate your Twitter account, but Buffer can really help you with time management so you can uh, spend time in the morning live, spend time in the evening, and then also have tweets in the Buffer going out through the day when you're not at your computer. So let's say I have looked at this link, and with all the interest in Pinterest right now, um, this would be a great one for my audience. I'm going to go ahead and just click Buffer. I'm only going to put this on my uh, personal account. I'm not going to send it out to both. You notice that you've got 21 characters left, so if you wanted to leave any comments at the end, you are able to uh, modify or add to this tweet. You could post it now if you wanted to send it out right away, or if you wanted to send it um, out later, just simply click Add to Buffer. And then we'll go back into Buffer to see what that looks like. Okay, you can see here that this is the link that I just clicked on inside of Twitter. It's scheduled to go out actually tomorrow morning, and that's all it is. You simply click, send it to Buffer, and then it goes out later at a predetermined time. Okay, well that's my tip for today. I hope it helps you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.